Are you ready to start your cloud career? The AZ900 Azure Fundamentals exam is the best first step for beginners in cloud and IT. In this video, we'll cover 20 carefully selected AZ900 questions with answers and clear explanations. These will help you gain deep understanding, real confidence, and true exam readiness. But remember, this is not just a quiz. Each question is part of a structured roadmap designed to make learning Azure simple and practical. You'll not only pass the exam, you'll also build the skills needed for real cloud jobs. For the complete series, check our playlist. And if you want the full PDF of 1,000 questions plus free mock tests, visit my website, Tech Cloud Solution. So stay tuned because we're about to get started with today's 20 questions. Question number 161. What is the significance of the Azure reason? Why is it important? And the options are A. Once you select a reason, you cannot create resources outside of that reason. So, selecting the right reason is an important decision. B. Even though you have to choose a reason when creating resources, there's generally no consequence of what you select. You can create a network in one reason and then create virtual machines for that network in another reason. C. You must select a reason when creating most resources and the reason is the area of the world where those resources will be physically located. And D. Reason is just a folder structure in which you organize resources much like file folders on a computer. So as per the definition, the reason is the area of the world where resources get created. You can create resources in any reason that you have access to. But there are sometimes restrictions when creating a resources in one reason that related resources like networks must also be in the same reason for logical reasons. So the correct answer is C. You must select a reason when creating most resources. And the reason is the area of the world where those resources will be physically located. Question number 162. Which of the following are one of the advantages of running your cloud in a private cloud? And the options are A. Assurance that your code, data and applications are running on isolated hardware and on an isolated network. B. You own the hardware so you can change private cloud hosting providers easily. C. Private cloud is significantly cheaper than the public cloud. So private cloud generally means that you are running your code on isolated computing not mixed in with other companies. So the correct answer is A. That is assurance that your code, data and applications are running on isolated hardware and on an isolated network. Question number 163. This is true or false. You should only ever use general availability services in production application. And the options are false and true. So the correct answer is true. So if you will use the services in general availability, then you will get the SLA provided by the Azure. Question number 164. How much does the developer label support for Azure cost? And the options are A. $29 per month. B. $100 per month. C. $1000 per month. And D. $0 per month. So the correct answer is $29 per month. This is also given in the Microsoft documentation under compare support plans and for the developer the price is $29 per month. Question number 165, this is true or false. Even without paying for support, you can still open a support ticket if you encounter a problem such as a billing issues and the options are true and false. So the correct answer is true. So you can still create a support ticket for a specific issues like asking for your account limits to be increased or billing issues. Question number 166. What does it mean if a service is in private preview mode? And the options are A. The service is generally available for use and Microsoft will provide support for it. B. Anyone can use the service for any reason. C. You have to apply to get selected in order to use that service. D. 
anyone can use the service but it must not be for production use so for the private preview it means that you have to apply to use a service and you may or may not be selected so the correct answer is c you have to apply to get selected in order to use that services question number 167 which style of computing is easiest when migrating an existing hosted application from your own data center into the cloud and the options are a serverless b infrastructure as a service c function as a service d platform as a service so the correct answer is b infrastructure as a service so it is the easiest to migrate into from an existing hosted app that is lift and shift question number 168 with azure public cloud anyone with a valid credit card can sign up and get services immediately and the options are false and true so the correct answer is true azure public cloud is open to the public in all countries that azure supports question number 169 true or false azure powershell scripts and command line interface scripts are entirely compatible with each other and the options are false and true so the correct answer is false because powershell is its own language different than cli question number 170 which two features does virtual machine scale sets provide as a part of the core product pick two and the options are a load balancing between virtual machines b firewall c content delivery network d auto scaling of virtual machine e automatic installation of supporting apps and deployment of custom code so virtual machine scale sets provides auto scale features and has a built in load balancer you still need to have a way to deploy your code to the new servers as you do with regular vms so the correct answer is a load balancing between virtual machines and d auto scaling of virtual machines want to become an azure expert here's your fast path beginner to administrator start with az900 to build your fundamentals then move to az104 to become a certified azure administrator we give you 1400 plus real practice questions mock tests and even a money back guarantee if you fail tap the link now get both azure exam kits and grow your cloud career from zero to pro the question number 171 which of the following resources are not considered compute resources and the options are a virtual machines b virtual machine scale sets c function apps d azure batch and e load balancer so the correct answer is load balancer because load balancer is a networking product and does not execute your code Question number one seventy two. What is an Azure subscription? And the options are A. Each user account is associated with a unique subscription. If you need more than one subscription, you need to create multiple user accounts. B. It is the level at which services are built. All resources created under a subscription are built to that subscription. so basically subscription is the label at which things get built multiple users can be associated with a subscription at various permission levels so the correct answer is option b it is the label at which services are built all resources created under a subscription are built to that subscription question number 173 what type of documents does the microsoft service trust portal provide and the options are a documentation on the individual azure services and solution b a list of standards that microsoft follows pen test results security assessment white papers faqs and other documents that can be used to show microsoft's compliance efforts c A specific recommendation about your uses of Azure and ways you can improve, and D 
a tool that helps you manage your compliance to various standards so the correct answer is b a list of standards that microsoft follows pen test results security assessment white papers faqs and other documents that can be used to show microsoft's compliance efforts question number 174 what data format are arm templates created in and the options are a yaml b json c html d xml arm templates are created in json so the correct answer is b question number 175 what is the core problem that you need to solve in order to have a high availability application and the options are a you need to avoid single points of failure b you need to ensure your server has a lot of ram and a lot of cpus c you need to ensure that the capacity of your server exceeds your highest number of expected concurrent user d you should have a backup copy of your application on standby ready to be started up when the main application fails so in order to have a high availability application you will want to avoid single points of failure so that any component that fails does not cause the entire application to fail so the correct answer is a you need to avoid a single points of failure for all the azure resources and the practice mock test you can refer our official website i will give you the link of this websites in the comment section question number 176 what is a policy initiative in azure and the options are a a custom designed policy b assigning permission to a role in azure c requiring all resources in azure to use tags d the ability to group policies together and the correct option is d the ability to group policies together question number 177 how do you stop your azure account from incurring cost above a certain level without your knowledge and the options are a switch to azure reserved instances with a hybrid benefit for vms b set up a billing alert to send you an email when it reaches a certain level c implement the azure spending limit in the account center d only use azure functions which have a significant free limit so if you don't want to spend over a certain amount implement a spending limit in the account center so the correct answer is c question number 178 what is the name of the open source project run by the apache foundation that maps to the hd insights tools within azure and the options are a apache jazz b apache hadoop c apache shine d apache jaguar so the correct answer is apache hadoop as it is the open source home of the hd insights tool question number 179 how many minutes per month downtime is 99.99% availability and the options are a 100 b 4 c 40 d 1 so the correct answer is b that is 4 minutes question number 180 a company is planning to deploy a number of resources to their azure subscription and want to be informed if the cost of azure resources goes beyond a certain threshold which of the following can help achieve this and the options are a create an alert in azure monitor b create a budget in the azure cost management c create a cost tag for the resource group d create an alert in azure advisor so by creating an alert in azure monitor basically azure monitor helps you to understand how your applications are performed and proactively identifies issues affecting the application monitors do not provide the capability to generate alerts based on the uses now create a cost tag for the resource group so tags are used to logically organize azure resources 
resource group and subscriptions into a taxonomy for example you can apply the environment with the value production or uat tax do not provide the capability to generate alerts based on the uses now for the options that is create an alert in azure advisor azure advisors provides recommendation on high availability security performance operational excellence and cost so the advisor does not provide the capability to generate alerts based on the uses so the correct answer is b create a budget in azure cost management so budgets in cost management helps you to proactively manage cost and to monitor how spending progress over time when the budget thresholds you have created are executed notifications are triggered so that you can take corrective actions